just so y'all can see a little feeding action of this experiment. This is our blue bin. This bin and this gray bin have the same amount of Dubia breeders in it. Getting ready pretty soon to um, go ahead and sort these guys sometime this weekend and do the counting. These guys, as you can see, have been getting the oranges throughout this month several times a week as well as this right here is carrots and greens this is turnip greens right here and then down here if you look i have some more oranges and greens and this right here is potato and also sweet potatoes also in there this is sweet potato right here and as you can see the babies are coming out and they're starting to feed too do you see there's a lot of babies in there and i don't want to mess with with them too much but down here we're feeding them our mighty dubia feeder chow right here where my finger is you see them all you see how much they love our chow seriously they're just they're just like going for it so um and then in this one you guys this one is the one without the uh, oranges so they have the same thing the turnip greens or whatever greens i got several times a week carrots this right here is sweet potato this right here is regular potato, so they're getting all their moisture from that. Um, I also been putting our Mighty Gulp in there too. So just keeping them well hydrated, some more potatoes, and then our um, chow there. So, all right guys, so we're gonna get these buggeroos all sorted out and we're gonna see who's winning so far this month. We got two more months after this, but Let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, welcome back to Mighty Dubia Feeders. Today, we're really excited. Gio and I are here and we're going to be into all kinds of sorting today on this second video in the series about, you know, Dubia myths busters. You know, are these myths that we hear all in the Dubia community? And right now what we're doing is are oranges really making dubia breeders more prolific or not? And so we're gonna do this over three months. I highly suggest, I'm not gonna get into the whole explanation of everything in this video. This is the second video. So go back and watch the first video where I give all the layout of what experiments we'll be doing in the months ahead. So, but today we're gonna to just go ahead and do a very quick video. We're gonna be sorting these um, two bins. The blue bin is the bin that's been having the oranges and the gray bin is the one that were fed nothing, um, everything but the oranges and they've both been in the same environments and everything. So let's get to it. Let's see, did the blue bin with the oranges weigh out this month and get produce more babies because they had oranges or is the gray bin going to look the same, be more or less? Let's see what happens. Let's do it you guys. Yay!
Okay guys, so I have the gray here on this gray lid here. 100 mixed because these have quite a few different sizes even though you know some might have been a few weeks old and some are brand new. So to be fair, I went ahead and did a picked a mix of 100. Out of this one, I'm going to measure it. I'm going to do it in grams. So let's go ahead and see. This is the gray and this is the blue. The blue had oranges. So let's see who's going to prevail. Okay, so it is five grams for a hundred. So I'm going to add all that's left in here. Let's do this without making a mess. Okay, make sure I get everything in there. And see what the final bit of it is. Got a few scragglers. Hold on one second. But it looks like we're at 65 for the gray bin. And one more. Okay, got it all out. So this is the gray and what they produced with no oranges, 64 grams. Okay, so I'm going to pour them back in here. All right, so I'm going to put my cup back on. It's going to zero right back out. It's zeroed out, ready to go. Let's see what the blue produced. So 64 was the other one. All right. One more, one more scraggler. Wait a second. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand. All right, so the blue that had the oranges, let's see what the final tally is, 82 grams, 64 to 82. So, wow, wow, is this going to be a myth buster? Hmm, so it seems like so far one month in on our experiment, do oranges make dubia roaches more prolific? It seems like our gray bin without the oranges made 64 grams of babies and um, our with oranges blue bin made 84. Um, so it looks like the blue bin is winning so far, but we will we'll see what happens in a month from now and then at the 90 day mark. And that will be our 60 day and then after that our 90 day. Thanks so much for watching. We love you guys. And hey, if you need dubia, millworms, superworms, or any kind of feeders for your reptiles, amphibians, pets, birds, fish, whatever, please visit us on our website. We love our customers and we are a small family owned business. So if you'd like to support small family businesses, then we are your um, feeder people. So. MightyDubiaFeeders.com. Follow us on Instagram at GTM Pet Adventures, which is a more of a, a pet page, or Mighty Dubia Feeders Plus, which is a Mighty Dubia Feeders, and where I put all the roaches and all the feeders and all the bugs and worms and stuff. All right, see you guys next time. Bye. First, look at how many, you know, 